Help! Alright. Help! It weighs a ton. Yep! Yeah. Oh, Jesus shit. Engine is back. Now has new pistons, new rods, new valve springs, new oil pump. Now we've got to put it back together. <laughs> Which we've just been laughing about because we, we can't really remember what we did to take it out, can we? No. <laughs> we thought it'd all come flooding back when we put this back on and everything, but yeah, not so much. Um, we took lots of pictures and we've got the old videos referred to, so I think, I think we'll get there eventually. <laughs> But it's gonna take a bit longer. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take an hour. But... Yeah, and it's freezing cold. It's so cold. It's, so it's cold. like the coldest day of the year so far. Yeah, it's not. It's not ideal, really. So yeah, let's um, let's start trying to put this all back together and get it in the car and get it running and yeah, yeah, shit. It's strange, but I don't need space from you. And every single thing you do, I like. I've been changed. Maybe I just knew I had to wait for you Draw a knife and carve a little space for you It feels nice Right, we've got most of the stuff back onto the engine now. Um, there's one little bit just behind here so there's one cable that we can't find um, a connector for. And it comes off the fuel system purge valve, I think it's called. So, yeah, we're trying to find that. That goes on there. Cool. That's my work done. Um, yeah, we're also, while we're doing this, we're installing a oil pressure gauge. Um, so, before, I've been able to see oil temperature, but not pressure. So, instead of just sticking the, um, the gauge straight in here, or the sensor, sorry, straight in here, we have a, a cable to soak up some of the um, vibration, basically. And the T-piece, which is hopefully going to have this on it, which is the stock. Um, this is what normally goes in that hole. It's basically just on the dashboard when um, your oil warning light comes on. That's that's what this does. That controls that basically. But it doesn't actually monitor like pressure as in like the individual units. It just basically detects whether there is any pressure or not. So you can't use it to actually monitor oil pressure. All it'll tell you is if there's oil pressure or not at all. It won't tell you how much pressure there is. Um, so that's what this thing will do. I've got a nice gauge that will mount somewhere in the car um, that will tell us the pressure. Okay, so we've got the clutch and the clutch cover plate back on. That was a pain in the ass trying to line this hole up exactly. I think we've got it right, but we're not going to know until we try and slide it in onto the gearbox. So now is the bit that I've been dreading really, which is trying to lower it into the engine bay, get everything lined up, get the exhaust manifold bolted on underneath. There, and there somewhere. A lot of stuff that was a pain in the ass on the way out, so it's going to be even more of a pain in the ass on the way in. So yeah, here goes. It's strange, but I don't need space from you. In every single thing you do, I like. I've been changed. Maybe I just knew I had to wait for you. Draw a knife and carve a little space for you. It feels nice. In the dream, right, right, right. Wanna call you, wanna call you, wanna call you. In the dream, right, right, right. Face for you. Right, day two wrap up. Day two wrap up is we basically spent the day fixing stuff we broke yesterday. So it's good somewhere in it. Yeah, yeah pretty much. much. <laughs> We've not really progressed much to be honest. You got one hose on. I mean, from when I was here yesterday, the end went even in, so. Oh, well, yeah, we progressed then, but last night, like out of 10, it pretty much looked exactly the same yeah, as it does now. Yeah. Um, what, what have we done? I don't know. We spent like six hours or something on this. So we need shields on. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> that is, it took him three hours. So you've been here for like an hour and he's yeah. like that when you came. Uh, we, we took, we, off we took the other manifold off again, didn't we? Because yep. we needed to make sure we didn't lose one of the cables underneath it. Which we're still not sure where that's gone. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Um, so that's kind of holding us up at the moment. We need to speak to Fensport tomorrow and find out if that's something that they took off because we don't think we've lost it, but it's not there. So yeah. Um, we've got a little bit of intercooler pipes and air in that pipes and stuff to do, that's fairly straightforward. Got to tighten all these bits up. Um, sort out of the catch can. We're still not quite sure which pipes went to which bits of the catch can. We've got pictures, I think, so we can refer back to some of that. And then we're pretty much there, aren't we? Yeah. It's close. Yeah. It's close. Another day? Another, yeah, another One more day. day. Once we've spoken to Fensbot and determined if we're actually missing something, then after that we, we can nail it. I mean, I'm missing a lot. Maybe. You're missing a lot of hair. Yeah. So yeah, part three. <laughs> no, we'll do it we'll do it on this video. It'll be done. It'll be done. <laughs>
Let's just. Um, got to come yeah, out of there. Let's take one of these hoses off. Let's take this hose off, and I'm going to hold it up while you crank it over, and I'm going to see if the fuel comes out. Well, it's got it on it. We haven't touched the fuel pump or that bit. We've only touched this no. end. No. Anything? Nope. Really? Really. What the fuck? How have we broken that? Five minute job, isn't it? <laughs> Five minute job. It's gone really fucking hey, smooth. But... Hey, you heard the one about the engine? Yeah. <laughs> You heard the one about the hydraulic handbrake? They don't fucking work. So Ricky, who built the engine, has very kindly come round and offered to help us um, get this working. He happens to just be staying like a few miles away from me today, which is weird because he normally lives like 200 miles away. But um, yeah, nice coincidence. So yeah, he's come round and he's um, he's pointed out something very obvious that we should have spotted. This. There's no there's no fuel. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I think it's basically um, all run out when the engine's been out, it's just all trickled out the fuel lines. So it's completely empty. So let's go get some fuel. Don't worry, it's not actually coolant. It is filled with fuel. Let's try it. It works! So far, so good. So basically now I'm just um, waiting for the coolant temperature to get up um, so that we can bleed the coolant properly. You basically got to wait for the fans to kick in which happens at like 100 degrees or something. I'm missing one of the plugs in there but whatever. Fixed. Uh, yeah, this, this still doesn't work obviously. We, uh, we haven't plumbed it in but we'll be doing a video on that soon. We think we've got a plan. Come on, hurry up. What's the oil temperature looking like? Pretty normal. Right, so we're pretty much done. Um, we've still got to replace the crank pulley O-ring, the, the little rubber ring that sits behind that, because that got chewed up, as you can see. Not quite sure how or why, but it did. Um, and replace the belt as well, the fan belt or the auxiliary drive belt or the 17 belt or whatever the fuck it's called, that belt. Um, we've got to replace that and we've got to run it through one more heat cycle then dump the oil out and put the new fresh oil in. And then, then it's ready to go get mapped by Fensport for more boost. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll see you in that video.